just just fascinated by Lemmy and the strength of Lemmy. I, you know, it seems like each animal you've brought on just about loves the microphone. Yeah. It's uh, you think Lemmy thinks it's a, a tree of its own? Likes a koala She might. It? She likes the round texture of it. That's okay. She's not gonna eat you. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Well, Lemmy, you are something else. <laughs> wow. And uh, looks like what is it? Red eyes? Mm -hmm. Or they are red albinos. Uh, another thing about albinos, they have red pigment in their eyes. So they're born with red eyes. And also around the eyes, as you can see, like on her head, it's kind of pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll also find that, or sometimes it's a blue color around the eyes. Wow. That is awesome. You are something. Yeah. 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 Well, Lemmy seems to like, uh, seems to be attracted to me. Um, <laughs> and I know that people are continuing to watch this program right now and, and are thinking, where can I find these animals? And as always, we tell them, Wild Animal Safari, which is located in Pine Mountain, mm -hmm. Georgia. Uh, for those of you who would, who are in the listening area, viewing area, and uh, listening. Like, they're just, sorry, I can't see anything. I'm just <laughs> listening to you on the radio, and it's TV or web. Anyways, but uh, for those of you in the Georgia area, you definitely want to make sure that you visit the Wild Animal Safari so that you can check out Lemmy, Sassy, Clyde, Cyrus, yes. and uh, many more. Yes, many, 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 more. many more. And the drive through I hear, is really interesting where people uh, go through the cars or go through on the bus, mm -hmm. and, and these animals come right up to <laughs> right up to it. They'll uh, stick their heads in your cars. So. Mm. They're all hungry. Uh, you get a feed Hungry, them whoa. There. <laughs> They're all hungry for <laughs> food. Just food. All right. Well, thank you again, Brooke, for being on the show. We really appreciate it. And uh, I've enjoyed being around all of these guys. And So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take another break. But thank you again, Brooke, from Wild Animal Safari. Okay, we're back. Now, that was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed having all of those animals on, especially that last one. Lemmy was amazingly strong. Okay, well now my next guest is Brian Seagrace. Brian, man, it's great. <laughs> great. Not great. It's great to have you on the show. It's one of those words. It is excellent to you be know, here. I've been doing that a lot lately. I've been mixing up words. Do you ever do that? Is it a trend, though, do you think? It might be a twin. <laughs> <laughs> the latest and the greatest. It I, might catch on. Who knows? Well, do you see that? Like, Facebook statuses, people messing stuff up? On or purpose. Just people in... Uh, I mean, do you come across people who mess up words all the time? Uh, I mean, because you travel a lot, right? Yeah, but uh, that was probably back in middle school. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm bringing it back. Excellent. <laughs> I'll take it. Hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, now, I know we're laughing right now, but uh, for those of you who don't know, Brian is worship leader. Mm -hmm. So, tell us a little bit about that. Oh, goodness. Um, I haven't been doing it for that long. Um, still young, obviously. Uh, I got the call about five years ago. God specifically spoke to me, and everybody says when they get their calling that you know it's the loudest and most clear thing they've ever heard, and that was the case with me. I was at Six Flags at uh, Atlanta Fest 2006, and it was building. so. Was that the loud noise that you heard? It may have was been. it Superman? <laughs> it may have been. It could have been Super Children screaming yes. from, uh, from the Great Scream Machine. But, um, now nah, building 429 and red and. Uh, Cast and Crowns were playing, and I just heard God loud and clear said, this is what I want you to do with your life. I want you to minister music, and I'm going to have you uh, traveling, and I've got this call on you. And so, really, that was about a month before I left for college, and so I based my major on that and my church and everything when I moved down to Troy, Alabama. Uh, based everything off of that, and I just pursued worship leading time after time for every group I could, for youth groups, for college groups, for the Catholics, for the Baptists, for the Pentecostals, for the non-denominationals, Methodists, everything, Everybody. you name it, I did it. Yeah, so I chased everything down, and uh, God opened up a lot of doors for me, and uh, now I'm back home, long story short, I'm about to cut out my first worship album, and I've been doing everything on my own on it, and I'm leading worship at Auburn Heights Baptist okay. Church, and also I'm full-time on staff at a place called the International House of Prayer, and I do a two-hour set there every day too. Wow! So, so you're quite the busy man. Yeah, stay pretty busy. You have to, uh, you gotta, you gotta be good with time management, and you especially have to be good with keeping your vocal chops up. Yes. Uh, if you're singing at least two hours a day, uh, you know, worst thing you can do is blow out your voice because that's your career. That's what Absolutely. you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah, I lost my voice about a year ago, and. 
Uh, actually, I was practicing a voice. I was I was trying to work on Christopher Walken, mm. <laughs> and and I just kept trying over and over. I was like, "Hello, you guys, and welcome to you know." And I just kept I kept working this thing out. The next morning, I woke up and I had no voice. <laughs> Lost it for like four or five days straight. So thank you, Christopher Walken. What a he, bummer. He kicked me in the throat. And he does yeah. it like a pro. Too. He does. He does. Well, now you've got a funny story. Uh, you and I were talking earlier. Mm -hmm. Something that happened to you, but I mean. Of course, I was laughing, but <laughs> and you were like, dude, that's not funny. So, I mean, what, what was happening? Well, a lot of things going on right now. Yeah, a lot of things are going on. On top of this album and on top of uh, moving into this new worship leading position, I'm also moving into a new house. And in the process of this, of course, when you're moving in the house, you move little things, you move big things, everything from big dressers to little tiny bags with toothbrushes in <laughs> every, you know, everything in between. And I was moving a dresser. We just got everything into this new house, and I was moving it from the living room, arranging it into my bedroom. And I got it about three feet away from where I was going to drop it on the floor, and the top of it just broke off, the 60-pound dresser, and fell straight on my bare foot. Wasn't wearing any shoes at the time. See, I'm not laughing now. Oh, I'm no, not, I I'm, I'm letting everybody else do what they got to do. That's what we practice. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> it landed straight on my foot, and there was blood, and it was a mess, and it squashed my foot real good. And, you know, it's, it's still pretty bad right now. I put on shoes just to impress you. Oh, uh, I've been wearing flip-flops since then. <laughs> but... Um, Long story short, my roommate comes in and I uh, asked him if we had any band-aids and he says no and he goes, oh, that's what broke. I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, when me and my brother were moving this into the house for you just a couple hours ago, it broke. Probably should have told you that. Mm -hmm. I said, that would have been yeah. real helpful about 10 seconds ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you can't take it back. <laughs> kind of like uh, Adam Sandler and the wedding singer, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. <laughs> <That's exactly right>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, you got this album that you're working on, mm -hmm. and of course you're leading worship. Uh, do you have any songs online or you know anything out there? Maybe people can connect to you somehow. Facebook I'm so glad you asked. Um, several websites. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Like, and this is 2011. It's not on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, and I've got my music on there. It's uh, facebook.com backslash Brian Seagrave slash, and then a bunch of random numbers. I yeah. don't really know what the numbers are. I'm sorry, but if you just look up Brian Seagraves, that's spelled B-R-Y-A-N-S-E-G-R-A-V-E-S on Facebook, you'll see my regular profile, my music profile. Also, same thing for MySpace. Uh, if you're a child of 2002, 2003, you got MySpace. And uh, the main resource I use is a website called Reverb Nation. Yeah. Reverb is in like the sound. I've got some of my stuff there too. Yeah. Slash Brian Seagraves. And that's where I do most of my most of my uh, plugins and stuff like that. Well, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of plugging in, I'm sure that you want to go ahead and plug in your keyboard because uh, you got something you're going to share with us in just a moment. Uh, what song is it? Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm oh, thinking good. I'm gonna do one called uh, "Burn." I did it earlier today, and it worked out great, and it felt good. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for. I'm, 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 I'm a minute. <laughs> I always do things on the spot. That's what you have to do. Oh man. Well, uh, <laughs> stick around for the mystery song coming up in just a moment with Brian Seagrace. Excellent.
Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching Light Talk. We're so glad that you... Lemmy, are you okay? Whoa, Lemmy. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, that's all the time that we have on this program, so take care and God bless. Lemmy? Hey, oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> you are a friendly girl. I... Yeah. Pretty girl. <laughs> Woo! Hey, girl. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Slide it under the belly. And put your fingers up under his neck. Up under his neck. Yeah. And Got he's, it? He's very nice. Well, he won't thrash go. around or anything. Okay, and then hold his tail. Mm -hmm. He's moving that left to right. He's doing it. He's moving. Uh, no. Woo! Oh. It's all right. He won't attack him. And there's no harness. Oh, and we're just going around my neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Yeah, see that? Look, could you fix that? <laughs> Sorry about that, Brian. <laughs> Unacceptable.